Good morning, friends. Welcome back to another vlog. I'm in the car, just dropped Cody off at work, and now I'm gonna go to Whole Foods. We went grocery shopping on Monday, but there's just a couple things. I opened three avocados yesterday and they were all bad, and I'm the kind of person that cannot have an avocado if it has like a little bit of brown on it. So I need avocados and a couple other things that you can pretty much only get at Whole Foods, so I'm gonna go do that. I'm wearing my glasses today because yesterday I wore contacts, and as you can see, I have these Kiss Press On Nails on, which I love, they're so cute, and it's been fun to have a little bit of a longer nail recently, but it's my first time trying to put contacts in and out with nails, and oh my God, getting them in, so much, like totally easy, because you can just use like the pad of your finger. Getting them out was another story. I was trying to be patient after so many of you guys DM me talking about it, but I ended up like pulling down my eye this way and then like squeezing it this way. And my eyes are just like super sensitive today because I had to try a bunch of different techniques and like touch my eyes a bunch. And so I just like didn't bother putting in contacts today because I was like, you know what, let's give them a rest. And this is the only place I have to go really today. So we're gonna wear glasses. I think that's pretty much all you missed. Other than that though, I really love the nails. They're so pretty and I like the length and Kiss has come out with so many cute new ones. They have some solid color ones that are like very springy. I saw them at London Drugs and they had like a really pretty blue and a purple and then they did send me these ones. So I wanted to try these ones out. Obviously should just try the ones they sent me and I really like the, the white tips on these. So yeah, it's been kind of fun. Definitely makes me feel a little bit girly. Uh, yeah, okay, let's go to Whole Foods. I've returned from Whole Foods and I'm gonna give you a haul. I didn't get too much stuff, but I will show you what I got. Also too, look at how cute our little key hooks look on the wall. We got those at the Home Depot this past weekend and hung them up. I just wanna get things off the counter because as you guys can see, our air fryer takes up a lot of real estate. And so I wanna get things up and off and so put up some key hooks and they look really cute. Right, Snitch? Hi. Do you wanna say hi to everyone? Okay, so the first thing I got were flowers and I, TMI, but I'm like really dazed right now because I have my period and I just like, I'm just moving at a snail speed. So I went around the flower area, like probably spent 10 minutes there just like looking at bouquets being like, these ones nice? No. These ones nice? No, those aren't it. And then I found these ones and these were cheap and they were all white and that's kind of what I wanted an arrangement. So I got some flowers. I don't really buy myself flowers all that often anymore just cause I'm like trying to save money, but they were cute and I felt like it. <laughs> so I did. Okay, I also got some blackberries. The main reason I went was for avocados. So I got four of those. I'm sad they're quite hard, so they're gonna take a while to right up. These are always by the checkout, these NRC little drinks, and I have the emergency ones that I like to take, but sometimes you need a little, little pep in your step, and so I grabbed the energy ones, and I think this is, yeah, peach mango. Sounded good, I love these kind of drinks. One of the main reasons I went there was because I thought that Whole Foods would have a lot of gluten-free tortilla options, but they actually had next to none, unless I like was in the wrong section. I found these tortillas at Nestor's that I absolutely love. I think I showed them to you in a couple vlogs ago, but they were coconut tortillas and they were so much better than the cauliflower cauliflower ones and they were just like the best and I went back to Nestor's and they were like completely gone and so I'm DM the company I'm like where can I find these wraps these tortillas um, and they haven't gotten back to me so I'm really hoping they do because they were honestly the best ones they were the cheapest you get the most in the bag and they were the tastiest and most versatile and I'm just like really sad about it anyway long story long I found these these are not the same thing these are pitas but I haven't tried a gluten-free pita yet and I kind of want this kind of stuff for lunches when I'm like super hungry which is now so I got these and yeah I was kind of like a little bit sad at the lack of tortilla options at Whole Foods considering they're supposed to have like such a variety. They did not. Also got some blueberries and some strawberries. This is also super random, but again, one of the main reasons I went to Whole Foods was because they have these cubed butternut squash and cubed sweet potato in the frozen section. I really like having frozen bags of these because I can throw them in the air fryer and put them on salads or just kind of like quickly make them. And of course I know I can just get a sweet potato and like peel it and cut it up and stuff, but you know, convenience is key for me so I got two bags of each kind just buzzed up the Amazon guy and the package is like this long no idea what Cody ordered but he had it like under the doorknob and so I couldn't open the door unless I lift it up so I was like thanks don't lock us in like who does that 
you can leave it any other way. And the last thing from Whole Foods is a juice. I got the green juice from the juice truck. It has cucumber, celery, kale, spinach, parsley, lime, and ginger. These are so expensive, so I consider this a treat, but I really wanted something green and good for me, so got that. That completes my Whole Foods haul. I got myself ready, and I really love the way my makeup turned out. I have been wanting to film like a get ready with me for YouTube for a while now, so if you guys like this makeup look, let me know. Maybe I'll do it in one of my next videos for you guys. I tried out some new products. I'm gonna show you guys a couple things that I got in PR, but my battery is flashing, good to know. But I did like so much blush, and I did like some faux freckles, and then I actually like did full eyeliner, which I haven't done eyeliner on the inner corner of my eye in like years, so feel Feels kind of different but I kind of like the way it turned out so we went with it. Change the battery pack. I also put on a proper outfit. The top is from Revolve. It has like these shoulder pads which is fun and I put on jeans to go take pictures in the hallway in the stairwell as I do. The lighting is pretty good and the walls are white which is great. So I went and did that. It was uh, a little nerve-wracking. I probably scared the post postman. Canada Post guy he was like bolting down the stairs and I was like he's gonna get startled I'm here and I try to like I don't know I put on my mask obviously so he could walk by I'm definitely getting a little bit more confident with it because I'm like you know what I'm here I'm gonna get my pictures you can just walk on by as you were gonna do yes it looks like I'm doing weird things but it's okay so anyway got the shots happy about it I'm excited to edit them and uh yeah I do also want to film a reel today because I started last month sharing my monthly favorites in a reel on Instagram and I want to continue that because I have some favorites. You guys will probably already know them from watching the vlogs but still that is on my to-do list today although I think I'm going to change out of these jeans and put something a little bit more comfortable back on because I have really bad cramps and my Advil is like just starting to kick in so that's really nice and like a relief but not home free yet. It is not a good time over here. I just look better than I feel. <laughs> I just changed into my White Fox sweatsuit. Love this thing. Honestly, probably favorite thing I own. And I made myself a dirty chai. So half Starbucks blonde rose, half chai with a little bit of coconut milk. The cats are being so needy today. And I love them, but I can't handle them. And some days I kind of wish they were like kids and I could just drop them off at daycare so mom could get some work done. Just some days. Love you loads, but you drive me nuts, kid. Um, I wanted to show you guys a little period treat that I made yesterday. These are Rice Krispie squares. They are gluten-free. Made them with gluten-free Rice Krispies, marshmallows, obviously, and then you would appear, well, half of them are missing, but they're kind of like chocolatey because I was a genius and I mixed in these chips. So here are the chocolate chips I use. They are chocolate salted caramel flavor baking chips from Lily's. Lily's is known to be like less sugar, which is really nice. And these are gluten free as well. So when I was mixing in the Rice Krispies with the marshmallow on the pot with some butter, I also mixed in some of the chips. You could of course put them on top, but I just like mix them right in. And it was really great. They're very crispy though. Like like stale crispy it feels like but once you get chewing they're really good as you can see they're good because half the pan is gone cody obviously had some too but yeah these chips are amazing they're so tasty and they work perfectly with this recipe as i sit here drinking my chai i figured we could do an unboxing also look at how cute my flowers look in the vase so pretty very spring i got a package from laura mercier they actually sent two one is like a new launch and then they just like sent me a bunch of goodies which was so kind so i used a couple things today i'll show you that first so this is a blush and this is in the color chai which like spoke to my soul and i love blush and this is just such a beautiful color so that's what i'm wearing today i kind of like put it all over my nose and like really blushed it up I love layering blush and also it's one of those things that on camera and in pictures you really gotta layer it on for it to be noticeable so that's what I did and I really like it. I also tried out the Matte Radiance Baked Powder. This is in number three bronze and this I assumed was like a bronzer and so that's kind of what I used it as today and it was really really pretty. I've really been enjoying the Benefit Hula Light which is just like a little bit lighter and I find it works better for my skin tone and stuff So I feel like this is quite a similar color. So I'm enjoying those two on my face today got a little puff We got the famous translucent powder, but this one is a medium deep and it's a glow shade So I'm not quite sure if I can use that as a bronzer or pass it along. I'm curious about the glow 
aspect of it. They sent along a couple brushes, which is always really cute and nice. This primer, I've used this one before and I really, really enjoy it. It's their hydrating primer. This is their pure canvas primer. Looks like this. Their package has changed a little bit over the years, but I do really like this primer, especially if you have dry skin. They also sent along some of their eye pencils. They're the Caviar Stick Eye Color. So they're like little eye pencil crayons. We got this product, which is the new launch. This is the Secret Camouflage Brighten and Correct Duo. I have been really into concealer lately because I have really dark circles. So I'm very excited to try this. And I forgot that I had this in this package or else I would have tried this today. But this is in the shade 1N. So one side says Brighten. Let's see if I can open it. Looks like that on the Brighten side. And then the Correct. So obviously the Correct would go first I assume perhaps maybe not I should probably read the instructions but it looks really nice and the color looks good so I will be trying that out it'll probably be on one of my days where I don't wear as much makeup because I feel like that's where this product will fit in best and then they also sent a mascara which I've never tried the mascara from them this is their caviar volume panoramic mascara so huge thank you to them for sending all those things like I said I've really been enjoying these two on my face today and I will continue wearing them because I really like them they're very pretty Next up, I got a package from Coda Lee. I'm actually attending a virtual event with them tomorrow and they're gonna be walking us through all of these products. But I did actually just watch Alana's video last night where she was sponsored by Coda Lee and talked about all these products. So it made me even more excited for these things. They also sent some cleaning goodies, which is so cool. So we have one of the Swedish cloths, which now that I know how to use these, I'm very stoked about this. So that's really pretty and great. They also sent a little kit from the Bear Home, which if you guys don't know, that's my soap and dish soap, hand soap, dish soap, and cleaning spray that I use because it's a Canadian company, it's sustainable, and it really just makes sense. So they sent over their solid dish soap, grapefruit and orange, and then like a little scrubber, which is so nice because I've never actually used one of these um, to do dishes. To be quite honest though, Cody usually does the dishes, which I'm very grateful for, so maybe he'll enjoy these, but yeah. This is just such a nice little additive to the package and I was very excited that it was from the Bear Home. They also included some beeswax wraps, which I've heard so many great things about and I've just personally never tried them. They're supposed to replace saran wrap, so that was a really fun thing to get in the package. And then we have all of the Vino Clean products, which I'm excited to learn more about tomorrow. So we have the moisturizing toner, a micellar cleansing water, a instant foaming cleanser, we have a cleansing almond milk and Alana in her video mixed these two, which sounded really nice. So maybe we'll try that out. And this is a product I'm probably most excited about. This is a makeup removing cleansing oil. These are always nice when you're wearing like a full face of makeup, especially stage makeup to really just get everything off. So yeah, I'm really excited about this. And the whole thing with this new Vino Clean line, it's clean and sustainable. So it's 97 to 100% natural origin ingredients. They are committing to zero waste by 2022, I believe, which is fantastic. It's free from animal origin ingredients and an experience for the senses because there's all different textures, which is really great. I also love that they send everything on seed paper. They sent me a package a while ago that had seed paper thank you cards with my name on it and stuff. And so I've run out of my regular Poshmark cards that I like write on. So I've been using those. So everyone that orders from my Poshmark recently has gotten seed paper cards, which is fantastic and just so cute. So. Yeah, I'm excited. I don't know how long this vlog is gonna be, but if I learn more about this tomorrow and continue the vlog, then you will hear my thoughts then. And lastly, we have a very cute, very special package from my friend Michaela. She owns a small business here in Vancouver and she dropped off this little package with a trinket in it that is going to be launching. She's starting a new adventure onto her small business. She sells like pampas and dried flowers and beautiful things like that. And she's branching into repurposing glassware, which is really, really cool. So she sent this amazing package, like the, it's beautiful and a like stunning card. So the brand is called Own. I think that's how you say it. I will have it linked down below but her stuff is so cute. You can actually use a code. I have a code, Michaela 10 for 10% off. Yeah, so cute. And we do spell our names differently. Oh my gosh, I've been watching so many Instagram reels and things on wax seals. I have no idea why, but it's so intriguing. And that is just so fun. Look at that. Look at how cute. I haven't shown this on Instagram yet. I want to be like really careful with this. I don't know if I can, but yeah. So cute, the packaging. <laughs> Okay, 
Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Okay, so I did actually pick this one out and I really like it. It's so pretty. So she takes glass dishes like this and repurpose them and put flowers in them which is so so pretty and this is going to be such a nice dish for like earrings and things i wanted it for my bathroom because i've been honestly just leaving my jewelry everywhere so this is going to be so nice and it's so pretty very vintage but like re-inspired you know very excited about that thank you so much michaela and um yeah go check it out i'll have her store it linked down below Happy Thursday. I'm just getting myself ready for that Caudalie virtual event. It's in about like 45 minutes or so and for me it's at 2 p.m. which is like so awkward in the middle of the day to do like a full cleanse so I didn't bother putting on makeup and like getting ready today because of that. I want to like do the full process on Zoom and um, yeah so I'm getting ready for that but I'm in my bathroom because I wanted to share with you guys a couple products that I tried out for the first time last night. So you saw in a recent vlog that I was sent some Honest Beauty skincare products and so I wanted to try out something new last night and I have been super curious about their retinol serum. I did a little bit of research and it seemed like a good one for me to try because it's supposed to be hydrating and so far so good. Obviously I have literally used it once so I cannot give you any opinion on it yet but it's a really nice serum and it's very thin and it applied really nicely. I also really like the Honest Beauty packaging. It has like a little click top and it's just like really nice so I tried that out, liked it, We'll check back and then I also have been just like craving nice dewy hydrated skin at night. I feel like my moisturizer obviously is great but I need something a little bit more so I also pulled out the Honest Beauty facial oil and I put that on top and it was really nice and it soaked into my skin really nicely. I haven't like cleansed my skin yet today because again I'm going to do that for the event and yeah I think it went on really nicely. It does have a little bit of fragrance in it so if you're sensitive to that just know that but I really liked both of them. Nyx Nyx is trying to come in. Hi! And uh, I did also try one of the Caudalie products which I think we'll probably be using today. This is the makeup removing cleansing oil. Since I was wearing a full face of makeup yesterday I decided to try it out and I really liked it. So those are the three products that I tried out. I was just kind of in the mood to try something new, so that's what I did. So last night you guys saw me clean my makeup brushes and I didn't really explain it because I just kind of assume everyone knows how to clean makeup brushes, but for those of you that were curious, I used dish soap to deep clean them. So I put a little bit into a cup and put my foundation brushes in to really kind of break up the foundation and I don't leave them for too long and then I cleanse them with my hand and some dish soap. That's how I do that. And then I got kind of lazy and I used a like quicker dry cleansing method with the Cinema Secrets. It's just a bottle you can buy and it's good because it's like cleaning them but it's not deep cleaning them so they dry a lot quicker. And so I did that with all of my eye brushes and it's one of those things that I just hate doing because I have so many brushes but that's why I can go so long without needing to wash them because I have so many. But feels good that they're refreshed and since I knew I wasn't going to be doing makeup today it was like the perfect time to do it. I swear this period is like the worst one that I've had in a very long time or at least it feels that way and it got me thinking about my IUD. I get it out when I'm 28 so I'm I think like three years into it but I've never had it checked and I'm pretty sure you're supposed to get it like checked a year after you get it so I'm gonna call the place and see if I can get an appointment if it's necessary if they're even taking these kind of appointments right now. I tried to call earlier and they were closed for lunch, so we shall see. Last time I called to make my appointment for my IUD years ago, I remember being on hold for a very long time, so this might take a while. I had to hang up because the event starts in a couple minutes and I was on hold for 27 minutes with no answer, so I'll have to call back again when I have a bit more free time to wait on hold, but nonetheless, I made myself a couple tea, a couple of tea? 
a cup of tea in the meantime and I'm gonna go learn some things about skincare and I'll talk to you after. So I'm finished up with the Caudalie Zoom event now and it was really lovely to see so many people and also to learn more about their sustainability and their new program and their new packaging and all that kind of stuff. It was really interesting and just an overall good time and my skin is feeling very fresh. I went down to check the mail and I got a card from my niece, Claire. It was her birthday recently so I think this is a thank you card. This is just like the cutest thing ever. And let me know in the comments down below if you guys ever sent thank you cards because it was something I always had to do, whether it was Christmas gifts or birthday gifts, I always sent thank you cards. And I think that's also to why I have it instilled in me that I love sending out Christmas cards as well. I just love physical mail and so I just, it makes my day. I mean, there's a freaking purple envelope in my mailbox. Of course I'm excited about that. Okay, so it says, Dear Auntie Michaela, the first line, oh my god, you are by far my favorite aunt. <laughs> She's the cutest. That's so, so cute. Oh my god, that's so funny. She's saying that she's gonna use the money that I gave her for her birthday to buy a cup that has a picture of her on it. It'll also have a straw lid. And I might not know, but I like, she likes drinking out of straws better than a cup. Girl, same. I also prefer drinking. Look, that's so funny because I literally grab my green juice and a straw because I can't drink anything without a straw for the most part. That's so cute. Oh my god, she's so cute. I love it so much. It was so sweet too in her last thank you card that she sent. Uh, she sent like a Polaroid picture wearing the brunette the label sweater that I gifted her as well. So that's on our fridge. It's just so cute and it seriously makes my day. I love you, Claire. So sweet. I also got a very exciting package in from Aerie. I was influenced by Nicole. I don't know how to pronounce her last name. I'll have her Instagram on the screen here, but she did a partnership with Aerie recently and I was in the market for some new underwear. So I was like, Let's check out Aerie. I haven't bought stuff from them in a really long time and I always browse their website and I've decided to try out some new things. So this will be fun. My order did come in two separate packages. So I've got a bunch of underwear already. I haven't actually tried them on yet. So hopefully they fit. I got a couple different styles to try. Those ones are mostly the boyfriend brief boxer thing. I don't know. Maybe I'll have a pair to show you. But they also had these super cute high-waisted underwear and I just really like the ribbing of this. This kind of reminds me of like dance bottoms or even like a bathing suit. So I'm excited that they're underwear. They seem very, very comfy. So I got black and I'm pretty sure I got white as well. I mean, I got white and I think I got black as well. Also got this ribbed pair. Good old underwear. This is the black pair. Totally looks like dance bottoms, but they're very thick, which I like, very comfy. And then I wanted to branch out. Oh, these are, this is the style of the underwear. I think this is what she was wearing in her Instagram stories and posts, they looked really comfy. I like a thick band at the top, so I got these ones in a various amount of colors. They look really big, but I have a big butt, okay? So hopefully those fit good. And then I wanted to try some of their like active wear because I haven't tried any of their leggings or sports bras in like a really, really long time. So I got this sports bra. It's like a padded black ribbed razor back. That looks really nice. I think I got this in a medium. Hopefully it's okay size wise. I think it probably will be. No, it's a large. Oh, right. I read the reviews to make sure I got the right sizes. So this will probably fit. And it's small for a large. That's crazy. They were right. I'll have to maybe do a try on of these because that looks very small. And same with the leggings. I got a large when normally in Fabletics, I'm like a true medium, sometimes even a small, depending on the style. And everyone for the leggings said to size up. Yeah, I think that's probably my okay size. Those feel really nice though. I've been just looking for another pair of leggings. I don't know, now that I'm like working out more, I need like options. So I'll have to try these on to give you the full spiel. So I got leggings, the bra, and then I got this cute top, which I think I did share this on my Instagram stories. Can you tell I like ribbed material? This is like a gray kind of workout top. Reminds me honestly of Free People. I feel like they have a very similar workout top like this. So yeah, that's my little workout fit. Normally, when I'm just working out at home though, I can wear this kind of thing without a sports bra underneath. It seems tight enough, honestly, to dance to. This is very thick, which is what I prefer. So maybe when I don't feel as gross and bloated, I will try those on for you. I spent the last couple hours laying on the couch with all the lights off, watching Sex and the City, just kind of decompressing, wasn't feeling super great, but 
I normally get up around this time. It's a little bit later now. It's like 7.30 and do my workout around this time. And it's a 30 minute workout for today. So I might just try and get it done and get it over with. But I wanted to try on the airy pieces. So the top is definitely a win. I really like it. I'm not wearing a bra with it or anything. And the material is so, so nice. It's definitely very high quality, very thick, very secure. I know it comes in a couple colors too. So I'll link this down below. The leggings are good on top <laughs> i love the height of them i am so 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 particular with my leggings because i'm constantly dancing and i just like i have really high standards when it comes to leggings and i love the height of these the material is super nice it's very similar to my align leggings which is nice my only complaint is the ankles so if you guys can see at the ankles there's quite a bit of extra fabric here which i cannot stand and i thought getting the long ones would be good because usually they're like tight enough and like can tuck into like shoes and things and i don't really like the 7th 8th length on me just because with boots and stuff it just doesn't work for the winter so i just feel like there's a little bit extra fabric here which kind of sucks down there because everything up here looks really nice and fits really well it's a little bit I don't know no it fits pretty good I'm not gonna not gonna lie so yeah I'm not really sure what to do because they do fit really nicely up here and they feel secure and the fabric isn't really nice it's gonna like roll down a little bit so maybe I need a tighter size um, yeah I think I'm going to exchange them for a not long version and see if that helps because I do want to try them out and for me the biggest thing is like how high-waisted are they and they're really high-waisted so that's that I'm gonna take them off but I will show you that other sports bra first. And here is the other bra top. I really like the fit of this one. This is a large and I'm usually a 34C to give you guys a little bit more information. But I really like it. It's very comfortable. I probably could have gone with a medium because it is quite stretchy, which is nice. But large is definitely very comfortable. And it does have um, padding, like cup padding. I think you can probably remove it. Maybe not. Normally you can, but I don't really find an opening. Anyway, I really like the rib material. Very soft, very comfortable, casual. Not like obviously the most supportive, just like with the way, as I'm like grabbing my boob. Uh, it just like seems like not super, super compact and supported. If that's the kind of workout top you need, then maybe this isn't the best bet or get a tighter size. But for me and my working out needs, this will do quite well. So both of the tops are a win. I'll be keeping these and then I will try and exchange the bottoms or just send them back and go buy Lululemons. I don't know, <laughs> I haven't decided. I mean, they're half the price, so I probably should try like a shorter length and see if they work. Cause they are a nice material, they do feel nice. So, okay, I'm procrastinating. I need to go do the workout. I really need to get a car tripod, but hello, good morning, it's Friday. I am running some errands this morning. First stop is post office, have a Poshmark order, and then I'm returning those airy leggings. And look at how cute my mask is, it says, if you can read this, you're too close. It's from Revolve and it was too big for me. Uh, it was like quite large and I just threw it in the wash in the dryer and it totally shrunk up and it looks nice and it's very soft on the inside. So this is our first stop. I'm gonna go drop these. I swear every time I leave the house with a jacket that doesn't have a hood, it starts raining without fail. I should know better by now, but I'm at my second stop, which is a much more fun stop because I'm picking up ice cream and I will show you what I'm getting. Now, if it wasn't raining outside, I would have shown you because their signage and their branding is so stinking cute. They're from Innocent Ice Cream, which is mostly vegan and everything is also gluten-free. They have a lot of vegan options, but everything is gluten-free. And their whole thing is gluten-free ice cream sandwiches, which are so good when they're open for like regular business. You can like customize and like get whatever cookie you want with whatever ice cream. And I believe right now they just opened to do online orders. So I place the order. I don't know, a couple days ago, and I got four pints because everyone has a birthday this weekend. Cody's sister-in-law, Cody's actual sister, my mom's birthday is this weekend on Sunday, and then my friend Chantel's birthday is on Monday. It's crazy how many birthdays there are in March. But anyway, I got the sister-in-laws some ice cream and we're gonna deliver it to them tonight. And then of course I got Cody and I an ice cream. So the deal with the pints is they're a layered pint. So there's the ice cream, there's a cookie layer, and then there's like a fudge layer, I'm pretty sure. I've never actually had the pint, but Cody has and he loves it. So he got Snicker. Cocoa Puff is what we got Amanda, Cody's sister. It's like a chocolate ice cream and it's also vegan. And then I got myself Dark Fairy Tale. So Dark Fairy Tale is a raspberry ice cream with chocolate ice cream, a 
vanilla cookie and then a white fudge layer, I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong. But anyway, they all sound really good. I got two of those, one for Kat as well. And I'm just like, they're so delicious. And so that's our weekend treat. If you guys are local to Vancouver or the surrounding area and you've never tried their ice cream, highly recommend. It's always delicious and I enjoy that they have a lot of gluten-free, it's all gluten-free and vegan options. It makes it a lot easier and everything is delicious. It's so, so good. So yeah, definitely recommend. But I think this is where I'm going to leave you guys. I'm just gonna go home, do my workout, edit this vlog and then chill out for the weekend. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up because it really helps and supports my channel. Truly, I appreciate it so much. And yeah, subscribe. If you are not yet subscribed and you've watched this whole video, you should probably subscribe. I would really appreciate that as well. And I will see you guys in my next video. Have a great day. Bye.